This is Mammy and the Panzer and the Cult of Personality that is Empire and Ron will bring you guys under the Company of Heroes 3 replay cast. Oh yeah. I do have sadly no pipeline punch to drink or chaotic because I already had it earlier today. So it'll be very, very, very sad. Um, one thing to note is that if you do have a Company of Heroes 3, 2, 1 replay, you can send it to me in the link below. I keep forgetting to say this. Um, I usually been saying it at the end, but yeah, there's that. Anyways, I have been reading some comments. Um, thank you for everyone uh, correcting me. Just like uh, I know that uh, this one will be way out. Um, I'll try to make a comment on the other Company of Heroes video where I did say I was talking about Jeeps and Jeep can only cap with one veteran. See, I think I think Matthias told me that. Oh no, Elusive Man did or whatever because I was complaining about this one guy not capping. Granted, I did think he did gain a veterancy, um, but he just wasn't utilizing it. We do have two Deutsche Africa Corps, pure cancer as Elusive Man would say. We do have Tomcat over here. Wow, I went, oh no, I'm on there. Oh wait, no, we just have Doge as Wehrmacht. Um, over here, I think we have two Brits. Very interesting, two Brits. <clears throat> Can't wait to see how this is going to go. Indeed. So one thing I've learned from Matthias and Elusive Man usually as Brits going up against... Um, at least Deutsche Africa Corps. Is usually trying to get the kill on the half-track immediately. And um, pretty much, yeah. And I forget... Oh no, usually getting the upgrade. Um, usually getting infantry section and getting like the, I'm just going to call it the PTRS just, just for the, and some kind of anti-tank rifle to begin with, to be able to uh, counter that half trick and kill it immediately. And it's pretty much, it's not a GG, but it's, you're just in a way better spot than you would be if you let the half track, half track live kind of thing. Man, those engineers are getting demolished. <clears throat> uh, my throat's a little bit sore from sucking too much dick, but it does suck. No, but my uh, I've been recording a lot lately, and I recorded like three or four videos yesterday, and my voice is all kind of parched. Finally getting suppressed, got double MG up in here. Um, basically, they went for mid. You know, we didn't really take a look at this. Uh, we got the munitions point in the middle, or not. I don't... Yeah, no, it's 10 plus. We got the fuel here. This looks like a nice combo here. Obviously, we got the chunky munitions here on the left. Oh, wait, the VP's here, the VP's here. Okay, I see. This chunky munition right here is definitely needed. Okay, it's a fuel point. I just like all these munitions here, and here's the fuel right here in the middle. Pretty critical. Hmm, interesting. The way this map works. Okay, there are fuel. they have double fuel here. You got fuel there as well. Okay, okay, okay. I mean, kind of controlling mid with two munitions and this one fuel point is pretty, I would think, would be the key. Or possibly taking this one too if you're controlling the mid, try to push up a couple feet and take that, but who knows. We do have Glorious uh, Motorcycle. Just sitting there, not camping if it can camp. Does it need a veteran seat to fucking camp? I have no fucking idea now. I have no idea anymore. I have no idea. It probably does. Oh, he did a self-repair on it. Probably took some damage. That's why he's uh, sitting there. Waiting for it to finish. Looks like we do finally have the half track out with Glorious Engineers. And he is upgrading Glorious Flamethrower for Glorious PE Clown Car Action. Well, not really. It's usually Russian Clown Car Action. For uh, for me, it's usually... I, I always did Panzer Grenadiers in the half track and zoom around in Company of Heroes 1 like a huge homo. Oh, here's the other VP. Okay, I thought the VP was up more here. It was kind of strange, actually. My bad, my bad. My bad, the VP's... No, that's the fuel point. Damn, I'm totally, like, fucked up with all the VP's here. Oh, the VP's over here. Okay, holy shit, I am fucking retarded. So, VP's here. This is a weird-ass map. This is truly a weird-ass map. This VP's all the way behind here. The VP, another VP's all the way over here. And then the other VP's over here. That's just some strange shit. I don't know. So yeah. So what is this here? Oh, the boys anti-tank rifle package. Was able to hit. See, look. There you go. See, he got it immediately. Was able to destroy it. Uh, did he pick up a fucking MG? He did. What insult to injury. Oh, wait. Ooh. No, go, 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 go. Dude, that actual pickup, though. Come on. Wow. No grenade. Got no grenade. Oh, no. Oh, come on. Come on. Dude, I can't believe that shit. Wow, what a... Damn, bro. He chased that MG, picked it up, ran away, died, lost his half-track, and then tried to pick it up again. Wow, that was some commitment to that, Vickers. Holy fucking shitballs. 
that was some commitment. Some Panzer Grenadiers flanking the MG that's holding mid. Infantry section taking some not so nice damage from a mortar and an MG. And we have infantry section flanking about as well. Uh, one thing here that I would like to note, uh, he did go airbo airborne with commandos. The pack howitzer is going to help him out a lot. Um, and the centaur should be fine as well, along with some flares and whatever other bullshit. Do we have to choose one or can you choose both? I fucking forget. Oh man, I'm so bad. I'm actually a little bit tired too. I'll just blame it on that, on my stupidity. Uh, the other guy, he didn't choose yet. And he didn't choose yet. And Doge didn't choose yet. Interesting. Nice flank though. <clears throat> Infantry section in this building over here. Grenadier squad up in there. Infantry section to cap up the ammunitions. And it looks like, at least in terms of capping wise, the allies holding on fairly well. The kill on that uh, car on the 250, right? 250 is uh, doing fairly well. Did get medical truck out and had to bring it all the way back here. Not sure if it was worth it just to grab this MG or not. Because now he's just wasting some manpower. Doesn't have his half track. <clears throat> oh, we do have a steward coming out. I know this is the fucking... Uh, either he's buying the upgrade or getting the AA half track, I presume. But we do have the steward coming. We do have an AT. Do you have an AT coming? We do see the steward by the other guy as well. I'm guessing there could be butt buddies. One guy gets a actual AT gun. The other gets uh, the actual um, the actual steward itself. We do see uh, Captain Crad coming in here for a ninja kill on that point. Like I said, ninja kill. Sneak up and take that point. Infantry section. Love this. This is Company Furious in a nutshell right here. Let's fire at concrete. Where the oh, there are some 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 holes, but you know nothing that bullets. You know you gotta ricochet some shit. Should retreat your engineers immediately. Lol, that ring around the rosy. Lol, he just gets in the building and the dude's gonna fuck. <laughs> Oh, fire in the fucking roof, man. Uh, that shit's funny as hell. And Vickers is gonna put down some damage of them as well. We have an ascent to hear the Stuart rolling in. Uh, we do have what looks like a half track with the little AT propel upgrade. Need to be definitely careful with that because we do have. He does have infantry section with his boy's rifle. Is getting another Stuart with a Royal Engineer squad up and running. And over here, looks like he's going to attempt to attempt to push back. I mean, they don't have any vehicle. So here's my question, though. This is actually a question that I'll probably figure out later before anyone ever sees this. Is that what is the radius of your infantry squads as Deutsche Africa Corps? Like, what is the radius to be in, you know, with a with a vehicle? And then can you see the radius? And what is the bonus? Obviously, it is significant enough to do. Oh, we got another half track. And of course, we do have some flamethrowers here. His or uh, well, Royal Engineers are going to get smoked. Uh, flamethrowers still need to be nerfed, but you know, I still miss my rifle company. We do have some Lee Enfields, is that I'm going to call them uh, the recon package. Stuart rolling in here to at least support. Uh, Stuart in middle did take some damage. Uh, I'm guessing from this eight, all they do, he does have a pack. Okay, he does have a pack. I'm guessing the maybe possibly the half track damaged him. Stuart. Pushing away the infantry. Here comes the half track. Will it be able to get off around? No, it does not. Line of sighting behind that building. Infantry moving in to this. More infantry moving in to try and get that cap. These guys did get behind cover, but it would either be. Oh, he's doing some actually significant. Oh, because the MG over here as well. <clears throat> Was able to hold that off. He's going to get behind cover now. Should be able to easily. Oh, grenade. Decent grenade. Nice micro out of it. Just get back behind there. Do have AT moving up. His buddy is moving back up with some of his infantry as well, holding his left flank. And overall, it seems to be a little bit back and forth. Yes, he did get the A half track. He probably wasn't upgraded, and then he got the A half track. Um, I heard that the AA half track. No, it wasn't the A half track, or was it the? I don't know. It was a? Uh, I'm thinking of something else. I'm thinking of something else. Never mind. Nice side shot on that AT, on that AA gun. Flare going off as well. And of course the medical HQ is going to be pushed up here. So he can reinforce in style. So now I'm going to see here real quick. So this is it right here. Nice cover. I wonder what kind of aura is it? I, I don't fucking... I want to understand this. Maybe I should Google instead of doing it in a replay. Or ask just Matthias in general. 
Or as the great Wendy Pulsuer, Stewart just wandering around, doing the Joe Biden and not understanding where he is at any given moment. Um, but I know why he was just searching and scouting ahead. I, I get it, but I wanted to bash Joe Biden. This video will be demonetized now, even though it's not monetized to begin with. Royal Engineers trying to flank up here. He did not micro his MG to try and support. Granada. Got out of there, but was still suppressed. MG in some good cover. Is it even in cover? Is it technically in cover? In combat? Will it say cover, though? No, because I see the cover there. Over here, but these Royal Engineers just taking way too much damage. Would retreat. This MG is not even firing at all because of some line of sight, I feel like. But now it's finally going to get some of these Panzer Grenadier squad uh, suppressed. It looks like these guys... I feel like he ran over a mine, but I'm guessing... he. Oh, there's an AT gun. There's an AT gun. I'm not sure if this AT gun fired or he did get some engine damage, so I'm not... Okay, now, now, now I gotta look. I gotta look. He didn't use this. There's no cooldown on that. So I'm guessing it possibly could be an AT gun or mine. I, I'm not entirely sure. But he's about to get smoked. One steward to rule them all. And in the darkness, bind them. So yeah. Another hit on the AA gun's going to push him away. And there goes a MG42. An attempt stealing of an MG42. Which does suck. Nice decapping here by these engineers. Just out capping the Germans. And getting that extra manpower for themselves. Kind of throwing everything into here in this middle point. He did capture this up, up over here as well. Possibly this could be the capping point and let the... I was about to say Oba Commander West. Damn. The Deutsche Africa Corps. The dick. Uh, just kind of sit here with its medical HQ and push the front line somewhere else. Um, pack houses should still be good. He did get veteran gunner proof weapon penetration on all unit vehicles. That's pretty damn good. Damn, boy. Damn, boy. That's a thick-ass boy. Damn. Stuart firing. Stuart gonna pester some of these engineers as well. <clears throat> um, overall, a Panzer IV, Panzer III would be pretty good. Looks like he did get a mortar half track, uh, which is gonna be annoying. I'm not sure if some pack howitzers would be good. I mean, right now for me, for me at least, like in my uh, peasant, very peasant uh, pea brain kind of thing. I mean, he has enough infantry. Um. I know Brit right now is pretty much nerfed into the ground, as I presumably told, and they don't really specialize in anything. They're the weakest faction. I'm not sure what he should be getting. Maybe another squad of infantry. He has another AT gun. Possibly another light tank would do good. Uh, his butt buddy, I'm presuming. Maybe uh, a pack howitzer or two could be nice to bombard somewhere. Like some of these mortars, like this mortar here or this mortar here or something like that. Or this kind of front line. Have the pack howitzers like here. I'm not sure if they could reach over here, you know, and get rid of some of the AT. Stewart running for its life here. <clears throat> Too bad I didn't fire at that AA. The AA is running for its life, but it looks like he's about to get fucked up. That that commitment though. Unfortunately, AT was moved, and he wasn't able to get a second shot off. I would have committed and left my AT there. I mean, what the fuck? Why do you have such a small little radius, bro? That radius, though, so small. It's kind of sad that uh, he doesn't realize to turn this around. Looks like we do have some foot section with some bazookas for some anti-tank. It's going to work well for him. Yeah. Or possibly getting some kind of medium tanks to push in and kill this mortar half-track and really put the pressure... Glorious Commandos avoiding that nice grenade. Getting behind them and graping them. Doing their own grenade. Didn't pay attention or at least didn't move out fast enough. Ooh. Did he lose this engagement? There's some fire happening over here. Looks like an MG. Will he kill that commando squad? The commando squad is safe. It is safe. That was kind of a shitty, um, at least in my opinion, a shitty exchange there. Um, a little bit unfortunate. But we do have a Matilda 2 heavy tank, uh, which is very nice. He could easily push in here. He does need that infantry support to take care of that AT. Killing that medical truck would be pretty good, but he's going to back away with that medical truck and possibly killing uh, the mortar half track. You know, thinking about it a little bit, I think this AA, this flak half track is kind of stupid to get for him because he like the only reason I would say I say it's stupid is because he lost his half track at the beginning. 
So why would you, I mean, you lost your early game advantage. Possibly I would say like, like, you know what I mean? Like you, you lost your early game advantage by losing the half track. So now this flak, because you're giving ground to the enemy is going to be, it would be such a small window of it being worth something. And now that window is gone, kind of, you know what I mean? And then he still got the half track to begin with, I believe. Yeah, here, the half track and shit. So that's kind of my thing. That's, yo, that's that's just kind of my thing. I feel like possibly getting some kind of medium tank uh, going towards that way. I mean, he has double AT. You know, maybe he gets the half track again, got the double AT, gets some more Deutsche Africa Corps infantry, and just roll with it, kind of. And then getting some kind of medium tank through a doctrine that's an epic uh, ricochet. And, you know, just going forward like that, I felt like it would have been a little bit better. Glorious blob. Love the blob. Praise the blob. The blob is life. Yeah. Just gotta stay back. Get in some nice cover. Is in some cover. That truck just nope the fuck out of there. Is gonna take a couple uh, side hits. At least gotta retreat on one infantry section. Uh, probably could have left the ATs there. Don't know what he was doing with the ATs. Should have just left them to pound the Matilda. Kind of strange. We do have an MG and an AT waiting up in the wings. We do have our boy over here, the other Brit player, dealing with the Vamok player. Uh, just playing around with the Stewart. Surprised that... Uh, Panzer Grenadiers don't have a Panzerfaust? They have no Panzerfaust? Unless you upgrade it? I'm not entirely sure. Unless... Uh, Panzer Grenadiers... Or you could totally upgrade... No, isn't like uh, you could upgrade to Panzer Jaegers or something and then they have the Faust, I think? I'm not entirely sure on that sequence of events, but having no Panzer Faust or some kind of mobile AT is uh, really hurting the OKW player. OKW player. Holy shit, the Vemok player at this moment in time. He has quite a bit of manpower. Finally got his pack up. Um, what the fuck is this? Oh, it's the Kettenkrad. It's the Kettenkrad. Not getting that Kettenkrad out. And capping is kind of hurting. The mortar was all right. Didn't really get barely one veterancy. Um, <clears throat> probably could show its force later on. Damn, those commandos just got lit the fuck up. Yeah, they're backing away. They're spawning for that AT gun. Nice line of sight there. Just keep luring them. Firing. Getting kills. Doing damage. Losing their health. Um, he could have grabbed these Royal Engineers. Not sure what he's going to do here. Flamethrower would definitely be helping out his infantry right now. That's for damn sure. Um, sheep. What does he got? So he's still got the steward. He's got two. One PTRS. I call PTRS boy's rifle. The commando squad. Meh. Meh. He could call off a centaur medium tank. Could get the pack howitzer. I don't know. I am kind of disagree with the pack howitzer idea. Or could be decent just to deal with this. And just create some kind of bombardment. I'm not entirely sure on their range. Um, possibly the tank could be better. I'm not sure how the centaur medium tank is very effective against infantry and structures. Okay. I'm not entirely sure how good of a tank that is. Kenton Krad, I'm guessing here, instead of capping, it's just here for vision. I guess that's what he's doing. Trying to snipe the steward. I still like how, uh, infantry can do this. It's nice. I like it. Playing pretty defensive here. I lulled at this. Lol, now they fixed. Now they fixed as well. Yeah, the mortar half track is okay. This was a mistake. The medical thing is fine. Uh, he did get that Vicar stolen MG. He just needs to gather up his infantry. He has no armor. Um, just needs a combined arms infantry, bruv. Getting suppressed here. Trying to cap up that VP. Is going to be suppressed. Maybe a <clears throat> couple packs could be good. Pack howitzers. He did end up getting that centaur medium tank. Since mainly a lot of his uh, his enemy is infantry, but we can expect possibly some Panzer IV soon. He's not really investing in any kind of infantry upgrades or conversions at the moment. Ah, it's this type of tank. It does the basically the projectile. I didn't really read properly or was too retarded. Commandos moving up here with their stens. 
is going to get double teamed and annihilated. I mean, you should have learned the last time, but it does have support of the tank. Yeah, out in the open. Nice attempt at a grenade. Caused a retreat. Could possibly kill the Panzer Grenadiers here. Or Grenadiers. Easily push up and take out that AT as well. Go, Commandos, go. Ooh. Is that a mine or a mortar? I think it was. A, it looked more like a mine to me. Alrighty, repairing up his tanks. We got our boy over here. Frost. Actually, you know what's funny? I didn't really introduce, like, everyone. I just realized that, but... Oh, well. Oh, well, indeed. Oh, well, indeed. So, what's this Frost? What is Frost up to? A little bit of munitions here. He decided to go heavy armor battle group. Get the forward repair assembly. Um, he did not go down the Crusader AA medium. <clears throat> I think what Thias said that this one was pretty good. Like, it's very good at tanks. But I'll, no, it's not very good at tanks, but it really does put in the work. Um, underrated, Matthias said, about putting in the work not only on infantry, but also light vehicles as well. And even, like, other, like, light Italian tanks. And she could put in some work. Um, then you got Churchill. and stuff. So he did go recon artillery and the forward repair assembly, which is going to be good for him. To keep his steward alive. Well, his ally steward and his Matilda. Mortar maneuvering up as well. Really need to get rid of that mortar. Um, luckily, he doesn't have any more. Looks like going to do a combined arms here again. Destroying that glorious sandbags. Yeah. That incendiary round right on that MG. <clears throat> His MG coming back as well. Kind of needs to do more of a flanking maneuver. I mean, you have all of this space here, my guy. You have all of this space. I know you got a VP, but you need to push out this MG and you're going to use some of your arty. But uh, you have a lot of space here. Even a point here that the enemy's not capping, they just waddle around. So that's what I would do. But he did get the point. You can't you can't blame me right now. He kept the fucking point. Which is definitely needed. Flare going off. Exposing. Looks like we do have a glorious Brumbar here. And did we just see the waste of a... I was about to say a Churchill. I was like, what? But no, the Centaur got destroyed. Uh, I'm not sure how. In terms of... Uh, like mine, pack damage, fausting, but the Brumbar did come in here. And he's going to be dealing some damage. Stuart not enjoying his time. MG wiped out in the building by a grenade. Which did suck. Looks like we do see some stop trooping. Some stop trooping. Damn, got smoked by both Matildas. And we got some flamethrowers here for extra fuck you. Did spot though the double repair. Hopefully they can kill the stop. Ooh, 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 so close. Look at that, like a 1 HP. 1 HP. Good push, though. AA gun chasing. But nothing's gonna happen, really. Does have double AT, though. Yeah, right now, just need the infantry. The infantry is where it's at. Brumbar dishing out the damage to that Stuart. Oh, no, the pack is. Pack's probably dealing. I'm not sure how Brumbar goes against, uh... A steward, maybe some some decent damage. Yeah, that Brumbar's on the hunt. And what do we have here? Crusader 2 medium tank. Bounced. Bounced rear shot. Top kick. Where's my Sherman Firefly, man? Joking. Joking. Calm down, people. Got a Panzer 3. Up in mid. Yeah, gonna be kind of annoying. Possible pack 3 could... Have the, the pack howitzers could be interesting. I would really like to see... I would actually like to know what Matthias has thought on this. Really like to know. I should be, you know, I'm going to be a really homosexual YouTuber. Be like, guys, let me down in the comments below if the guy should have gotten pack howitzers. Cringe. Super cringe, super cringe. Stuart needs repair. Basically lacking that infantry, that attrition with the... Ooh, double mortar half-track now along with the Vamok fucking uh, mortar. Annoying AF, bro. Panzer three getting smoked. Pack is going to open up here. Complete bounce. Panzer Tactician. Uh, does he commit? I don't know. He secretly, secretly could commit with one Matilda. But, ooh, that plane went down. Yeah, just nicely swarm the AT. Cause it. Kill the MG2. Line crumbles. There you go. 
decent push. Unfortunately, none of the mortars were killed, which kind of sucks. Actually, if he just surges, if only he surged forward here, he could catch this uh, light carrier. Going to target the pack first. Uh, looks like he's going to target the more healthier Matilda. Going to take some damage. Any kind of artil artillery is coming down here. Or at least an airstrike. Bro, could you imagine a really good airborne from Company of Heroes 1 or 2 carpet bombing here? Holy shit, that stuff would be... That would be like the Kampfgruppe Lea meme. I got the bazooka here as well. Would we'll target the half-track immediately. Oh, he's gonna get in the house. Ooh, no. Not gonna get in the house. Yeah, they're gonna back away, taking a little bit too much damage. <clears throat> Too bad there wasn't more of a follow-up. There was no infantry. He did do a counterattack here. Too bad there wasn't more of a follow-up from this guy. He didn't have any infantry. Or he wasn't able to kill uh, the annoying mortars. Or at least this half-track just for fuck's sake. But uh, he did kill um, the AA. Killed some infantry. So you can see here. Did he kill the AA? I think that's the... Yeah, that's the AA. Is it the AA? Yeah. So it was pretty good. Did push him out of the immediate VP. Ah, uh, he's setting up defenses. <clears throat> so overall, I still feel like this uh, assault anti-tank rocket. Ah, okay. I feel like it didn't really do much. If that was it, I feel like it was kind of lackluster. Crusader taking out that AT. Crusader is not going to do much against the broom bar. That's so depressing. Lol well, got a rear hit. I would kill the mortar. Oh, he's just playing the circle route. See, this is why. See, this is called skill, people. This is this is called some skill. Because the thing is, is that... This is what I tell people all the time. Why well, you don't get fixed gun tanks. Because this is the problem. Like, it just takes a couple, as I would say in Company Furious, a couple T-34s to run around if you don't have proper infantry support. If only these guys had a Faust of some kind. I would keep committing. I just keep committing. Kill the Brumba. Kill the Brumba. Kill the Brumba. Nice. Did he actually get the kill? No, he didn't. I believe this guy probably killed his own fucking tank, possibly. Crusader gonna back away. I know it was a little bit unfortunate that he didn't kill the half track per se, but uh, the Brumba was of a great importance. Hopefully the Crusader can make it out. It looks like the Matildas are going to hurry up and rush into the defense. And he did get knocked out by Pack. Uh, this could be a good... I would have marked... Eh, what I marched in? He could have, but then that Pack is there. Stewart did get a side shot here. AT is set up in support. Panzer III is taking some damage. I would chase with the Matilda. Stewart popping from the front as well. I would have gone here, go here, go here, go here, go here. What are you, retarded? What are you, mentally disabled? You could obviously tell he's going to go back to base. Why the fuck? Dude, this fucking construction. Holy shit. Totally missed a good opportunity there. But just a little bit slow. Because it's a fucking Matilda. Yeah, just easily kill that. Kill that sheet. Crusader back on the hunt. Panzer III still damaged. No repair in sight. Is going to spot the Panzer III. And pretty much that's all she's going to write. I think unless the Matilda, Matilda is coming up for support. Crusader just needs to come up there. Get a nice... That is still a frontal shot. Ooh. We're going to watch this. Go. Oh. Nice. Crusader wins. GG. Just walk away. Hopefully he could line a side before he dies. Ooh. Ooh. It actually did get a rear hit, but it was good. Crusader made it out alive and Matilda coming in to clean up the mess. And that is all she wrote. They can't do anything. They are anally fucked. Anally fucked. Indeed. And that's, yeah, that's it. <clears throat> 
that is all she wrote. So, kind of in retrospect here, we're going to get in retrospect, at least from my limited knowledge. We're going to do Dutch Africa Corps first. This guy kind of got fucked. Well, he should have been a little bit more aware of his half-track and the possible... Maybe it's not a thing where Brits actually get the boy's rifle automatically, but as Matthias taught me, that's the only way you're going to win against Deutsche Africa, and le or at least get a better chance at the game by tr trying to kill it early on. Trying to kill it early on. He got it killed early on, which hurt his forward momentum, and he decided to get an A half-track, and then the... Than the regular half track. I think he should have avoided the AA half track and tried to get some kind of some kind of tank. Now, granted, he actually went this doctrine, which I really don't like. The armored support doctrine, like the flame panzer is mediocre. Well, of course it's pretty good, but you know, it's still a tank, you know, you get what I mean. But you could get the command panzer. Now, I'm not sure how good this command uh, this command panzer is in terms of its anti-infantry capability or combat vehicle or the buff that it gets to all of their panzer threes if you were to spam like three panzer threes in this tank combined with the rest of you know the buffs of the armored support doctrine i have no idea but he could have gone this route or just picked a different fucking doctrine could have gotten some light tanks uh could have gotten i don't know the the Italian infantry with the double flamethrower, something of that nature, along with the light tanks, the two that you get on a call-off group, I do believe that uh, would have probably been way better and would have helped him. Um, go on the double mortar half track, you know, it could it, it could have been fine. One could have been enough. I'm not sure if he was expecting some kind of super static, but if he played more like I just described, I feel like he could have progressed a little bit better. Like I said, I don't know. That's my initial thought process with my limited knowledge about the what how he played that's just my get up um but also i feel like if he were to play exactly the same he was a little bit stagnant just trying to cap this and hoping uh not cap this where's the fucking vp is this the vp this is this the vp my retarded this is the vp yeah, it is the vp holy shit didn't even look like the vp to be honest with you but anyways point being <clears throat> That uh, he was just really static and just hoping to barrage the enemy into submission and it didn't really work out. He had no answer or good Faust or anti-tank or something of that nature for the Matildas. And it just kind of hurt all around and he just kind of sat on his laurels. Maybe he was hoping that his ally here was going to get Panzer IVs or something and kind of win the day like that. But he ended up getting a broom bar, which was cringe as fuck. Um, this guy... I don't know. I feel like he failed with playing with infantry or upgrading them or going for Panzer Jaegers or something of this nature. Um, I'm not really sure about how upgrading things work kind of here. Here's the Panzer Jaeger squad. Or something like that. Or getting at least one and then going more Grenadiers. I don't know. Um, point being, and also getting the Brumbar is kind of cringe. He should have definitely gone to Panzer IV. Um, he also went, what kind of doctrine did he go? Mechanized battle group, uh, Stug assault group, meh, Panther heavy tank. I mean, he was going that way. He had 13, but I don't, uh, he definitely didn't have the resources too. So he could have saved the resources on the Brumbar or Panzer four and just gotten the Panther outright. Spotting scope is trash. Um, I'm actually not sure how expensive this is, uh, but being eight points, it's probably really expensive. Self-propelled artillery could have been good if the enemy was good to go that route. But, I, yeah. And then also he didn't go, obviously he didn't have enough points. He was saving up for the Panther. Well, he had 13 here. But the assault package could have been nice since it is an urban environment. But this is kind of where I would have gone. I would have just gone with more Grenadiers. Either gone for the Panther or the Panzer IVs. Uh, one Mortar was fine. I think he needed an MG. But he definitely needed some kind of anti-tank infantry uh, to deal with um, the Stewarts and shit. That's why I think he probably should have gotten some Jaegers or, or something else entirely. Yeah. Or tried something. That That's my thing. Like I said, limited experience, only going based off of what I know. <clears throat> or what I can perceive. Uh, this Brit player, I think he did fairly well. Some micro mishaps, but I think his doctrine is, is good. He didn't actually go the normal uh, boys rifle, which maybe should have commandos to me didn't seem all that impressive the anti-tank rocket uh, Seemed to be oh wait whoops. We're talking about the wrong guy here. Sorry boys. He went heavy armor battle core <clears throat> um, This is good. This was pretty good for some of his other recon artillery was alright mainly 
Um, he didn't really get anything else. He just got the basically the Crusader, not the Crusader, the Matildas, which pretty much set the stage for him winning and uh, fighting around his defense. He actually did get <clears throat> some foot sections with a bazooka at two infantry. Probably would have gotten another three, but overall he did okay. I think I can't think of something right off the bat <clears throat> that I like what he should have done. Maybe someone could actually point it out to me uh, what he could have done better or what would have been a different scope of what he should have done. Um, his butt buddy, though, was actually okay. He did get the Crusader. Um, I wonder, I'm guessing Pack Howitzers because I was saying that maybe Pack Howitzers could have been a good. The way that the game ended, Pack Howitzers wouldn't have been all that great. Um, it would have sucked because hitting the actual mortar half track probably would have been hard. Um, Aaron C. Lab Battle, it's a right. The Crusader turned out to be okay, but the guy got the burn bar. I'm not sure how the Crusader deals. I mean, it's very effective against infantry and structures, so I'm guessing if the enemy did get a Panzer IV, this would have been a complete waste. Um, Naval Bombardment could have been good. The anti rocket thingy, there's some incendiary. I'm not a fan of the fucking commandos. They're kind of. <clears throat> I don't know, I, I know there's like a short range kind of thing, but they kind of got smoked a little bit doing some stuff, and I'm just not, I'm not a fan. But possibly, like I said, he was the actual one who did get the boy's rifle, which did work out. So possibly maybe following his ally kind of in a way with getting some infantry section, getting, he got an MG, he got the the rifle and stuff, and then the two stewards were great, but then try to preserve them and then move towards... A Matilda or something of that nature for late game and just kind of do it that way. I'm not really sure because I know British is the weaker faction and stuff, but that's just the way I kind of see things overall. <clears throat> but uh, yeah, yeah. But anyways, guys, uh, actually, we need to finish the fucking replay. That's one thing we need to do because usually it doesn't let you sit here at the thing. So that's why I kind of gave my little analysis there. You know. Bye, Brumbar. Bye bye. <laughs> he just accepts it. It's like, yeah, I'm just gonna die here. It's just it's just what it is. Has heavy fucking armor, I'll say that, damn. Oh, it's a mortar. Oh, uh, top kick. Yay, yeah, Panzer three spawns out of nowhere. And there you go. There you go, indeed. You can take a look at the graphs. All that jazz. Um, but anyways, guys, I want to thank you all for watching. And please don't forget to send in any cool replays that you have of Company Fears 1, 2, or 3 to the link in the description. Thanks, guys.